what is that? 56 degrees in Taylor now. Hello! Welcome to my channel. I'm Rhiannon and today I'm going to do a little tattoo tour. I get asked a heap of questions all the time about my tattoos so I thought it would be a really good excuse to do a YouTube video. So I asked on Instagram if people had any specific questions. I got heaps so it's like really helped me structure this video so thank you. I had no idea how to do it. Okay so I'm a massive geek and I love a list. So when I first started getting tattooed, I started writing down how much it was, who did it, how long it took, just so I can like remember. So yeah, this is really going to help. First question, what was your first tattoo? So I was really good and I waited until I was 18 because my mum threatened to never pay for my hair again if I got a tattoo. She kept that promise, she stopped paying for my hair as soon as I got this tattoo. And because I was super emo, I got an upside down cross on the back of my neck. So this was where my first tattoo was, underneath this mandala, in like the centre. This is my second ever t tattoo. It's done by a lady called Jodie Dorber. She's sick and I will definitely tag all of these artists. This is on my left thigh and it's my third ever tattoo by Jodie as well. Ooh, that's a good one. What inspired them? So I don't believe that tattoos have to mean anything, but I have got a few that mean something, and one of them is next. So I got this tattoo because it's the Fratelli's single cover for the single Henrietta, which is my sister's name, which I have here. And I absolutely hate both. I want the whole thing covering up. She looks yellow, and what is that? And what is that? Okay, so after that, I got like a heap of tiny tattoos around my ankles. So I'll do my ankles next. I rushed these tattoos because I just wanted a tattoo and they're awful. And I don't know if you can tell, it's these two here. They're actually wonky. This one's higher than this one. So this is my sister's date of birth and this is my brother's date of birth. And then in order to fix these awful tattoos, I got my foot, which was also done by Jodie, who did my thighs. I got this eternal love because every white girl has to have one of these. And this moon, which I just had a moon, and then another tattoo artist, Barry Braithwaite, he did the little eye and sorted it out. I have this tiny little forget-me-not. Me and my two best friends got this to match because we're cute. I got this because I was in Amsterdam. Why would you not? Uh, next, I got this sleep tight tattoo because it was Halloween and Barry Braithwaite had done some special flash. So, got this. Then this one. Oh, and I also have this one. This is boy because that's what I call my brother. Then I got this tattoo. I got it by an apprentice in Nottingham. I don't actually think he tattoos anymore, but his name was Blint. This cigarette, I got this in Thailand by a guy called Ghislaine Handpokes. And it was his third ever bamboo tattoo. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> and then I got this one, just Silence of the Lambs. So this is on my calf. This was done by Barry Braithwaite as well. And then we have this guy, this tiny little cherub. That's it for my legs. So a lot of people ask what my favourite tattoo is and my next tattoo is probably one of my favourites. It's Sally Cinnamon and it's a lemon. Uh, it's a Stone Roses reference if anyone got that, well done. Uh, so Carl Jenks did that in the day session and he also did this little wine glass hand. He also did this one here. I had a few questions asking what was my most painful tattoo and I would 100% see my back like I cried the last time I had it done. It was so bad. So yeah, I'll show you this. Yeah, so 100% my back was like the worst place I've ever been tattooed. Oh, that took nine and a half hours and I had it done. I went five times, so it's worst tattoo I've ever had, I thought. Worst on my foot, worst on my stomach as well. 
Okay, the next tattoo that I got was this one on my stomach. It's this eagle done by uh, Dave Barry at Follow Your Dreams in Sheffield. It took two hours, which I was really glad of. Yeah, it's pretty big. It goes pretty big on my stomach. Then the next tattoo that I got was, excuse me, was this one. And it was done by Matt Craven. And it surprisingly didn't hurt that much. Then I got my ear, which was done by Liv Frost. This also surprisingly didn't hurt. It was just really loud. My next tattoo was this. This was my first arm tattoo. I thought my mum might disown me on this one. I had this done in Bali uh, by Julie Arthur. He's a really good artist. I also got this one in Bali, which is the Balinese arm. Then I got my second arm tattoo, which is this rose. Very briefly, I did this one as well. I got this little broken heart tattoo for Peep by Blinding Sun Tattoo, and he also did this one. This little tiger head, a uh, hand poke. Uh, then I got this bug boy um, because I'm a badass. And then I got this, which is by Foxblood. Dom also did my barbed wire. And then, how long did the panther take? The panther and the snake, that took five hours. Okay, so this is this tattoo. Yeah, it starts here. The next tattoo that I got was this icky guy here. And it's just like the Japanese secret to like a long and happy life. I just, I love the meaning behind this. That was my um, 41st tattoo. Hello? Hello. 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 Hey, well, how are you showering in the morning? Um, six. I'm just filming my YouTube video. You're in it now. Hello! <laughs> You know I'm gonna fill that in it now, oh, don't no. you? <laughs> do you design them yourself? And if so, what is the process? No, I do not design uh, my own tattoos. I'm not that creative or good at drawing. I have to just go in and pick from the flash that the tattoo artist has got on the day. To be honest, um, I find that way easier. And then this is my next tattoo. It's done by Simon L. I wanted to get tattooed by him since I was like 18. And then when I was 25, I finally managed to uh, be able to afford it. And then I got this tattoo here, which is just a traditional cross, but it says EB, my best friend, Ellie, the only person that I'll ever get the name tattooed to me. And then I got this one by Shit Jesus. It hurt, like down here. And then I got, oh, and then I got my Marilyn Manson. I've just had this touched up, so. Paulie did this, and I love disaster. The next one I got was this cat lady. It was nice nipples. Alex Fraser did this in Manchester. This hurt as well because it's on my elbow. Then I went to Liverpool Tattoo Convention with my friend Katie, and I got this. Estimated this. I got this butterfly. I'm not sure the artist. And then I got this knife by Chelsea Rose. Um, my mum thought. Um, I was into like knife crime or something. Okay, then I got some gap fillers on my arm by Barry. I got this little Playboy bunny. This, which is um, that way. the Japanese symbol for death. Um, I got this um, safety pin. This is really awkward. Yeah, I got this safety pin. I got a tooth um, and I also got another arm. I love that spiritual shit. And then my last tattoo, yeah, it was this one by uh, analog disaster as well, poorly. Okay, so I think I've answered all these questions. The question I got the most was, what was the most painful? And yeah, it was 100% my back and then like my side. Oh, I missed my knee. So this is my knee. It's a devil lady. So this way, it's the devil. And then this way, it's a lady. I love this question. Thank you, Toria Shaw. What do you say to someone when they say no more now as if it's their body? That, like, it winds me up. It winds me up so much. I often get it from old men and generally older people who tell me I've got too many tattoos. What am I gonna do on my wedding day as if, like, when I get married, I'm not gonna like tattoos anymore? Yeah, just like being freely judgmental, like. <sighs> I just ignore them, <laughs> is what I do with people like that because what's the point? 
like what specific style are your tattoos? They're mostly just traditional style. Like, I just really like big bold lines. Uh, how many tattoos do you have? So I have 56 tattoos in total now. Okay, thank you for watching my video. I hope that you liked it. Don't forget to like and comment and also subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you get notified every time I post a video. Say hey to me on Instagram as well. I absolutely love to hear from you. Like it warms my heart so much to know that people actually watch this shit. Like it's so nice.